Thank you and uh, good morning. May I say to all of those who are assembled here and those who are assembled throughout cyberspace, congratulations. This is a profoundly important moment, not just for those of you who are graduating, but for your families. And not everyone fully appreciates the value or the importance of this graduation to the family. I recall um, as I walked in today, the uh, memory of my, one of my children uh, who said to me, I'm about to complete the requirements for graduation. I said, that's terrific. When does it happen? When is the ceremony? He said, well, the ceremony is going to be on a certain date. I said, but he said, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to walk in the graduation. I said, why? He said, well, I want $39 or something like that for the cap and gown. And it just doesn't seem worth it. I said, you've got to be kidding. This is the kind of thing that a parent lives for. I'll pay the $39. Some week and a half later, I'm standing on the curb at LA International Airport. I receive a phone call. I did it, he said. I said, well, you did what? He said, well, I walked. <laughs> I, I, when? I said, today. It was today. I said, did it ever occur to you? I'd like to be there. <laughs> but I've got a picture. Uh, and I'm glad that you're all here. And so the, you graduates throughout uh, the reach of this, give your family member a hug. This is important to them, and we congratulate both of you. In introducing our speaker today, I want to focus on two things. The first is the power of mentorship, and the second is the power of a decade in the creation of institutions. Mentorship first, Scott McNeely, who is the co-founder and chairman of Sun Microsystems, was not simply the founder of a company. Uh, he has been what has now been referred to as the godfather of the internet. Now, why would they call him that? Uh, you may know Eric Schmidt's name from Google, trained under the auspices as a colleague of Scott McNeely. Uh, Carol Barnes, who was recently hired as the CEO of Yahoo, uh, trained again and part of a, the legacy of Scott McNeely at Sun Microsystems. I'm told that there are just under 200 C-level corporate officers of major internet companies that have come through the legacy of Scott McNeely. Now, I tell you that not simply to properly introduce our guest today, but to point out the power of, me of mentoring and to challenge you to follow his example in not just seeking good mentors, but also to be a good mentor. I would also like to talk for a moment about the power of time in the development of institutions and the importance of being able to mentor institutions. I mention this in the context of Scott McNeely because he played a very important role. Yes, one could properly say he is a godfather to Western Governors University. I've been introduced today as one of the co-founders of WGU along with Jim Geringer and 17 other governors. We had a dream, some might have called it a fantasy. We had a vision of an institution that could value learning, not time. That could deliver knowledge where people are as opposed to people having to go where the knowledge is. We took it to Scott McNeely before it was anything but an idea. He listened, he listened again, and before anyone else believed, he took out his check and wrote a substantial donation that made it possible for this institution to live. So today I'm introducing you to, uh, to, uh, to not just a great mentor, but truly one of the godfathers of Western Governors University on a legacy that will live on. Please welcome Scott McNeely.